Welcome back to Keeping It Green with Colin from Vanden Bush Irrigation. Uh, today we're going to be talking about taking out your rock screen in your 700 series rotor. Now what you'll need for this is obviously to remove that internal and that bottom valve uh, that's already been removed in this case and we've got videos showing that. So you would need a ratchet tool and your rock screen removal tool. Okay, just pop that on the end. There are three little sections that you can get that rock screen removal tool into in the bottom of that rock screen. You insert it, turn it all the way to the left, and that guy should pop right out. Now, there's a couple different things that you can do with this rock screen. You can take it off. You can replace the gasket on that rock screen if it needs to be replaced, or you can replace the whole thing altogether if for whatever reason it's damaged from debris or, or, or something along those lines. Um, now, what you'll notice is that if it's fine for whatever reason and you just wanted to inspect it, you can put it back in the exact same way. So get your tool, obviously find your three prongs, and attach that back in. And there's a little bit of a trick when we're inserting this back in, okay? So get it on your tool, turn it back in, and when you think you've got it or when it's locked into place, what you want to do, you want to roll that out. And when it rolls out, you're going to get that tool along with it. So that tool is not going to get stuck down in the bottom, especially when you're working in the field. You want to make sure that you do that roll. So until next time, thank you so much for keeping it green with Colin. If you have any questions about the material we're discussing, please contact your local Vandenbush Irrigation representative.